Hi. Today's message that I get for myself is that I should, the most important thing that I can do in my life is to listen to the inner voice, my inner voice, and share that. And if every one of us could start listening to our inner voice that's more in tune with the universe and with our surroundings and with our here and now moments, that is what's going to make the difference in the world. When we all start listening and then acting upon that inner voice that wants to guide us to a, a healthier world. Now it might be that we might have to make a stand for what is right. The inner voice will guide us there too. And those times are coming. In fact, those times have even started, like with genetically modified organisms and that we need to know what we're eating because the food in the world has changed, or at least in the Western society. It's changed so that now Americans are fat and, and diseased because it makes you eat too much, the food that they're making here. Because everybody's got money and make money, get rich, you know, and all this. Which comes from a lack, a sense of lack. We're not lacking anything if we just do what we have to do to have what we need to have in order to survive. And if we weren't so isolated from one another, we could interact with each other from a place of jovial unity rather than dog-eat-dog -dog world. So again, learning to get into that place or that state in which you can hear your own inner voice. That's the maybe the hard part because this world has trained all of us to be aggressive and take. We're takers, not givers. Not relaxed, trusting, gentle, giving. The inner voice. We need to emulate its quality in our lives. I'm trying. Are you trying?